It's hard to find a bona fide center in the NBA, one with a good physical physique and a great attitude. Liam McMorrow is one of them, and he's willing to crack any NBA roster this coming season. I catch up with him right here on Always Looking Up in a Short Girls World. Liam McMorrow is taking his acting skills to new heights as he tested the waters at Summer League. Summer League was great. I mean, I didn't really know what to expect from it. Uh, just playing with the Knicks, it was really cool. Like my first like kind of NBA experience, you know, other than playing in the D League. Definitely playing the D League, you know, it's not all about the money because the money's not great, but it, it's it's all about the opportunity, you know. There's fans there, you know, you get to meet people, sign autographs, take pictures, all that's great. You know, it's all it's all part of being a pro athlete and that's that's why I always dreamed of. Playing for the summer league it was, it was awesome. Like playing with like a, a first round draft pick like Tim Hardaway Jr. and uh, Iman Shumpert played with us our first game. And just having guys around uh, around the team like Allen Houston and like uh, Jerome Williams, he's played for the Raptors on the Knicks too. Like he's been there, just giving advice on the sidelines. It was, it was really awesome. And Jerome told me when I was in Vegas, he's like, he was he was explaining to me about like rebounds, about the ball. Like when you see that ball rolling on the ground, it's a loose ball. Like uh, coaches call it 50-50 ball. So like so literally. The ball's not in anyone's possession, so either team they have a 50-50 chance of who's going to get that ball. Jerome's like, if you see that ball, he's like, when I saw that ball, that was $50 million on the ground. You know, I was going to get that. No one else was getting that. He's like, it's Jerome's time to eat. It was the, it was the junkyard's lunch time. And I'm like, I, it, that just sticks with me. Like, when I see that ball, like I, dive, like, I got scrapes on my knees from summer league right now from diving on the floor in practice and in the game. So it's like, when I see that ball, like, when it goes up off the rebound, like, I don't even care if I'm getting the ball in the post or not. Guy shoots it. I'm, I'm looking at how the flight of the ball is going. I'm trying to grab that rebound. If it's on the floor, I'm grabbing it. What were you able to learn from your summer league experience being out there? Um, just to uh, really, like, to, to make it to that level, you have to really find what your niche is, you know? Like, uh, a guy like me is going to be, like, a hustle guy, like energy, just rebounding, running the floor, and being tough. So just finding your role and sticking to it and kind of just being really good at it. The pro game su suits my style of game way better, like, I mean, just uh, how the uh, how the floor is spread out, and I mean like the three second rule on defense, and uh, it's just it just helps w in more isolation situations for me. Just being a big guy, like in college, I would catch the ball on the post, and I'd have like little ratty guards coming in try to get the ball for me. But I mean now it's kind of like if that guard comes in and he commits too much, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out to his man. He's gonna get an open open shot. I mean at the pro level, if you can't hit an open shot, you probably shouldn't be a pro. Growing up playing hockey and lacrosse kept his physical physique up to par and some wily old vets helped structure his basketball skill set. Who would you say that you mold your game around? Um, I, I originally wanted to mold it around Tim Duncan, which I, which I still watch a lot of film on him. But I mean, I've been watching guys like Reggie Evans, Dennis Rodman, Jerome Williams. Those guys are, are gonna be the type of player that, that first get me into the league. So that's what I'm watching a lot of now. Just guys that rebound the ball and are really tough, you know, energy guys. What is that unique? attribute that you have to your game that people might not know. I'm not I'm not going to walk on any court and be scared of anybody. Like like if you're on my team, you're going to know that, you know, Liam's got my back. Like if anything happens, you know, like even if I'm on the bench, I'm running on that court and being like, you know, like even in summer league there was a situation when um, my teammate Brownlee, he'd fallen after a play and their other player was like around him trying to like he was just stepping near him. I grabbed the other guy. I'm like Get out of here. I wasn't even touching him. I'm like, man, just don't stand near my guy. He's on the ground. I'm going to help him get up. It's a rarity out there to find a center who's 7'2", especially in the NBA. What do you think you can bring to a team? Uh, just toughness. I mean, growing up playing hockey and lacrosse, I think a lot of guys don't really want to get hit a lot. But I'm like, I grew up being like, you know, go hit him. Like, I'm used to the contact and the physicality. So um, just being aggressive, it really helps getting rebounds and like crashing the boards, running, and just playing in the post against other big players. Just being big and strong and just making sure my teammates feel safe on the court. Sky's literally the limit for Liam McMorrow. And it's always important to remember to keep looking up in a short girl's world.